Hello and welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to show you all the new features that we release in version 8 of Hotspot Manager. So, as you can see here on the dashboard, the first page that you see once uh, you log in, we change a little bit the layout. So, now there are different colors and also uh, new widgets are available. You can see this gender here on the top. Um, so uh, also the map here was improved and you can switch between different charts and graphs uh, as always here but also the layout of the uh, chart is uh, changed so uh, we have a different layout here on the on the dashboard and also uh, on the login page once you you log in for the first time so this was one uh, of the first thing that we that we changed but uh, let's say that the the most important part of uh, this new version was the way we um, manage the user data so we had uh, uh, a lot of possibilities because you can uh, enter for example uh, in the domain settings and now from the um, data to customize user registration, uh, as always, you uh, have all the same fields that you are used to, to have. But we also add these uh, new fields, this uh, uh, day, month, and year of birth. So these are very useful if you want to do some kind of marketing activities based on the year of day of birth of the, um, of the users. So this is one of the first thing that we uh, set up. And also talking about user and, uh, and marketing, we have the possibility to sync with the MailChimp audience. So this was another thing that lets you send welcome email in a different way, or you can just uh, maintain the connection with the existent Wi-Fi users. So these are uh, always part of the, of the user. Always related to the user and marketing, we have other options. In this case, we are talking about advertising because inside a campaign, uh, now you have the possibility to target a specific campaign. So you can see from the general data on target, you have this uh, switch here that lets you choose a filter. So you can say something like show to anonymous users and uh, uh, this campaign will be shown to everyone or you can add a specific rule so you can say something like uh, um, just show this campaign only to the male uh, or to women so you can do this uh, kind of thing in order to target the campaign to the right audience and so obtain more clicks and more conversion from your uh, from your campaign of course, uh, this will be available uh, not the first time the user log in because we don't know anything about the user once uh, uh, is on the welcome portal for the first time, but just from the second time. So uh, at first, the user need to register to fill the information that we ask. So we go back to the domain and we check this data to customize user registration. So we need to set up the field that we want to be the target of our campaign from the domain before targeting the campaign for that field. So this is very important for you, for you to know. Um, we have also the possibility to um, send notification to the users. So um, here you have a send email notification. And so here you can set uh, uh, the, um, the email template that you want to be sent to a user um, after the registration. Also, uh, it could be just a welcome email, or even in this case, if you're skilled with marketing thing, you can simply use that email to uh, target a message or to do some kind of uh, uh, marketing activities in order to send traffic to a website or whatever you want. So basically, you have a template that you can use um, that you can uh, uh, send to your users. So basically, we try to um, add the possibility to uh, target a user in different way and to um, be more powerful on this kind of marketing integration. Um, I just remember to you that uh, you always have these tools for managing data. There is a useful tool that lets you export the user. So you can just choose which user you want to export all the users, or you can simply add a new rule. And even in this case, you can filter and download the CSV file with all the information that, uh, that you need for that user in order to use this on kind of other marketing tools like, um, I don't know, it could be whatever. So just remember this. Um, talking about the template and the front end, this is another point that we improved because um, if now we, 
click on the um, user interface preview of the once you enter in the let's say in this case like a preview in the desktop you can see that now something is changed because if you um, do a mouse over on the element you can see this flag is appearing if you click on this you can see that you have the translation right here on the sidebar so it's uh, uh, very easy uh, to translate the menu uh, and all the texts of the welcome portal and uh, this is valid through all the welcome portal so you can see if you want to change this you don't have to remember where this uh, part of the text is on the back end but you can just simply uh, click here and change the text here it also support html so you can write your own text and just save from the front end and uh, and it's very easy so this uh, was one major improvement um, we also uh, did some uh, um, core improvement on the welcome portal so it's more lighter and uh, it will load much faster on the um, on your installation around the world so you have uh, uh, new performance um, so this was uh, one thing about the layout um, talking about the uh, method of payment always related to the front end if we go on the back end here on uh, system settings um, sorry, on currency and payment system here, you have uh, different options for the payments. So uh, now we have Stripe, that is a new method of payment, and it also supports uh, Apple Pay, so the integrated native payment with uh, Safari, so from the Apple devices. Um, so this was uh, one new method of payment that we support. And uh, we also add this, Transactium, so this is a new one. And we also add the possibility to add your custom method of payment. So just in case you want to use an external payment for some reason, there is one method or one payment gateway that is not on list. You can simply, um, based on our documentation that I remember that you have always here, um, you can add here your external external URL based on the information that we give you on the documentation. And uh, so you can say something, um, you can let the hotspot manager uh, understand that the payment was correct. And so you, they can accept the user and, uh, um, and associate the product that you choose. Uh, in once you were configuring the system. So you have two custom payment based on this external URL in order to um, have this verification URL and to know that the payment was done. So this was another major uh, improvement that we that we add on the on the system. Um, Let's say that these are some uh, settings and uh, new features, the, the main important features that we add. We also have other options like uh, the, um, the Fidelio interface application uh, in order to integrate with the uh, PMS. So if you uh, use the FIAS authentication protocol, we also support that if you work with hotels or um, hospitality. So this was one new integration. But uh, let's say that the most important part, I go back to the preview, is this. So is this map thing. We add this map feature that it's not the around me that you uh, were used to have on uh, your installation. This is a totally new uh, app that lets you um, set up different um, point of interest inside a map. So this is just a preview. Uh, we will have a separate video um, in our channel um, with all the information and all the thing about this. So uh, for the moment, I can just say to you that uh, you have the possibility to add a custom uh, map. It could be just an internal map, like uh, a map for airport or something, or just an external map based on open street. So you can do both internal or external, and you can add point and you can add a lot of things, but just follow the other video and, um, and you will have all the information related to the map. So this is just uh, an overview of version eight. And uh, if you have any questions, just contact us. If you want to try this demo version uh, on your uh, virtual machine, you can just download from our website. You have the link in the, in the comments and uh, in the description. And um, yeah, that's all. So just take a look also at other videos to understand how our system is working. And uh, if you have any need, just contact us. We will help you um, as soon as we can. So thank you. Bye.